and peace guys welcome back to another lspdfr episode if you guys are new to my channel welcome if you're not new of course welcome back and if you don't know my name is diamond and um yeah right now we are in rancho davis strawberry area and you guys know what that means it is going to be a gang unit episode today as you guys can see, I got my buddies with me, so make sure to go ahead and smash that like button for this Grand Theft Auto LSPDFR episode, and um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to get into because you guys always know every time that we are down here, it's always some crazy stuff. Maybe that's why you guys like it. Dispatch, show me available for calls, but let's go ahead and get started. Copy that. One, queen, five. Proceed to patrol area. All right, guys, so we are going to head out. Definitely, definitely like up this episode and subscribe if you are not subscribed already. But, um, and guys, let me know how you're liking this vehicle. Um, remember that I said I was going to start incorporating a lot more, um, unmarked vehicles. So, gang unit, I mean, it just seems to fit. But you guys let me know, um, how you're liking this vehicle today. And, um, yeah, if you want me to use it in like more episodes, not just gang unit or maybe just gang unit. I don't know, but you guys definitely comment down below. So y'all already know how we do, okay? We are definitely, definitely checking these alleyways for these dope boys, these corner boys. Y'all already know how the hood be, okay? So um, yeah, we're gonna hop out of the car and just really see what's up with these guys for the most part. Collect some IDs and see if they have any outstanding uh, warrants. All right, they obviously talking junk. What's up, man? You got ID on you? Thank you. All right, so we have a Mike Andros. All right, let's go ahead and get a pet check from dispatch. Are we too far? <laughs> I don't like to bump them because they be acting we crazy. We have a 415 in uh, Sandy Shores. Respond code three. All right, guys, obviously we're not going to take that. I think I'm standing too far, so let's try this again. There we go. Yeah, they be acting crazy once you bump them, guys. So he's all good. So let's go ahead and ask him some questions. Um, what are you doing out here today? Why do you want to know? What you mean? Are you uh, a part of the Vagos? They're going to F you up, cabrón. Okay, but you got to leave now. It's a free country. We can hang right here. No, y'all can't. Y'all can't loiter. F you. All right. He's getting rowdy. Okay. He is getting rowdy. And he don't want none, guys. He don't want none. Because his mouth is writing a check that he just can't cash right now. You feel me? All right. He says he had a beer or two today. So maybe that's why he's trying to talk to me all stupid crazy. But um, I'm going to let him go. Okay. I'm going to bless him right here. All right. So let's see what's up with these other guys just drinking right here man, and doing some other stuff. Keflam, All right, let's get his ID. Thanks so much. His bandana, everything going on over here. All right, let's ask him some questions too, guys. See if he's affiliated with the uh, Vagos FUSA. What the, why are y'all so angry right now? What are you doing out here? Trying to enjoy this day. Okay. You can't loiter though. F you. Yo, why are these dudes so hostile right now, though? Let's get a pet check. Did we already get one? I think we did. <laughs> anyway, all right, so he's good. Um, we might just let him go, too. Like, I'm not really too interested in these guys. We have a motor vehicle accident in Davis. Units respond code 2. All right, he says that he was enjoying the scenery before I was inter he was interrupted. And let's see what else. Um... You know what? I think that might be it. I'm not going to go ahead and get that parking call just because, like, I'm not dealing with any parking accidents today. We're only going to be dealing with stuff that's, like, gang-affiliated, stuff like that in today's Thank episode you. of LSPDFR. All right, so we got a Mar a Jake Jansen. I'm over here saying Mark. Um, am I too far? Yeah, we let's go a little a bit closer. In Rancho. Dispatch, show me responding. All right, Jake or whatever your name is, I don't have time to deal with you. All right, guys, so we have reports of a person attacking another person. So we are going to go ahead and get down there as fast as we can. Um, I don't even remember if she said code two or code three, but we got to go. All right, 
So uh, I'm just going to bust this little turn right here and uh, hopefully we can get down to the uh, incident or the fight as soon as possible. Excuse me, move out the way. What is he talking about back there? Like, nobody's worried about you. All right, I don't even know if the suspect has like a weapon or something, but let me see. Dispatch, show me on scene. All right, guys, so he's taking off. It looks to be a domestic dispute. All right, let's go, let's go, sir. Get down on the ground, you're gonna get tased. You are going to get tased, sir. Get down right now. All right, guys, he's not gonna stop. All right, let's go. Taser deployed. All right, we got him. We got him. So I don't know if they were dating or what they were doing. Get down on the ground. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pick him up, guys. Let's get him. So he got some nerve to just be being on this lady in, uh, well, I was going to say broad daylight, but it's not exactly daylight. All right, I'm going to grab him and take him back to the truck. And we're also going to see about the lady, see if anything is going on with her, if she needs any medical attention and whatnot. <laughs> they talk so much junk, guys. All right, we are here. All right, let's go ahead and release him. Let me know if you guys are liking Officer Jennifer today. She's definitely on it, all right? So let me call another unit out here as well. Because we def oh, okay. I understand. Yeah, see how rowdy they are, guys? All right, ma'am, let me go ahead and talk to her really quick. Um, let's see about the fighting questions, guys. All right, so what are y'all fighting about? They followed some guy on Bleeder. Okay, I don't know what that is. Um, can you tell me what the argument was about? I came home late the other night and found evidence on this laptop that he was cheating. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Do you need medical attention? Yeah, sure. Or are you? Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. So she says that she's willing to leave him and she doesn't want to press charges, but she does need medical attention right now. So we're gonna go ahead and um, let's see. Can I ask her something else? What's your relationship? We're just dating okay all right okay she just says yes we were fighting all right because that's why we got the call so i'm gonna go ahead and get her um some help but i just want to make sure i know who i'm messing with so carol all right carol i don't think i should check her record because she didn't do anything wrong so <laughs> just gonna get her ambulance and i uh, get her out of here ambulance assistance required in rancho all right guys we're gonna talk to this dude over here and see exactly what was going on so we know that he does have some type of um intoxication going on so let's go ahead and pat him down do you have anything on you that can pick me stab me poke me or cause me any harm today all right so he has an ap pistol and a combat pistol okay you out here joseph okay all right so we're gonna go ahead and test him too sure. and see exactly what's going on with this guy Appreciate and what are the results what are they all right so positive for three uh types of drugs so yeah let's go ahead and check that those uh weapons that he had on him see if they're registered or stolen all in the days of police work and lspdfr guys so let's see all right, so this one is actually not registered. Okay, let's see about this one. And this one's not registered either. So he has two weapons that are not registered. On top of the fact that he was beating up what seems to be his significant other, this is just not a good look for him. So let's go ahead and put in these charges. He does not have a gun permit either. So what is he doing with these weapons? So guys, let's give him these charges of possession of a deadly weapon, um, eluding arrest from law enforcement on foot, and let's see what else we can give him. Uh, firearms, illegal possession, and also non-registered firearm in his possession. And um, 
let's see what else can we do here in commission of a crime i guess because fighting out in the street right and he could have hurt her with that we we don't know so um what else can we give him guys um assault yeah we can give him simple assault and also simple battery i'm i'm really just throwing the book at him at this point um let me know if you guys like when i do a lot of charges or if you guys just want me to get like three main charges um let's see he was intoxicated so we could probably do public intoxication as well so and disorderly conduct like fighting out in the um in the you know open area i guess so that might be about it definitely let me know what you guys think um but i'm pretty sure he's gonna be doing some time if he doesn't i'm gonna be really confused assistance required in rancho all right so we got somebody to go ahead and pick Screw him up you. and we're just gonna get out of here for the most part they're already a little riled up out here so we definitely don't want to rile them up any more dispatch show me code four well let me know how you guys are liking this lspdfr episode today code four no additional officers needed all units we have Shots fired at an officer in Davis. Dispatch, show me responding. Respond. All right, guys, so we got code 99. Seems like an officer has been shot, so we are going to get to the scene very, very quickly. So we are lights and sirens right now. Hopefully people, you know, get out of our way because y'all already know how the people in Grand Theft Auto drive. And let's see if we can actually get some officers to... Uh, meet us here. I don't know if you guys are aware that you can do that, but let's go ahead and uh, do that just for, you know, just for, I guess, gameplay purposes. So I feel like other officers would be there. So we're rolling up on it right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn it around just so that ooh, ooh, I'm getting in an accident. With, okay, we're going to go ahead and pretend that did not happen, guys. But let's go ahead and get our weapon out so that we can help these other officers. And, um, yeah, let's go. Alright, I see this one right here. Let me go ahead and go and cover. Alright, I got you, I got you. Oh, one of the officers is down. Alright, where's the next one? Where's the next one? Alright, they're behind this wall right here. Okay, they're behind this wall. I'm going in. Cover me, cover me. Cover me. Alright, she's still up, she's still up. Gotta put her down, gotta put her down. Get down, get down. All right, she didn't wanna put it down, guys. She did not wanna put it down. Let me go ahead and get that weapon. Who's over there? Who are they shooting at? All right, so we gotta move quick. We gotta move quick, guys. Seems like somebody else is over here who is just trying to shoot at us. I don't know, but let's go ahead and get them. What is up with these guys? All right, this sheriff officer right here is going in, so I'm gonna go in too. Put it down. Okay, he's he's obviously, he's pointing at us. Put it down, man. All right, we gotta go ahead and take him out too. Dang, I was not expecting that at all. Let's go ahead and pick up that weapon. Dispatch requesting EMS. I got your cover. Ambulance, assistance required on a- uh, All right, guys, we might have to shut down this whole block. People are just acting crazy right now. I don't know if that guy had something to do with it. If they called him for backup or what. That's what I'm thinking is what happened. But um, we just got the weapons from these uh, these ladies. I don't know what, what happened. I don't know what the other officers say. Dispatch requesting ambulance. Ambulance. Assistance required in Rancho. All right, guys, so like I was saying, I don't know, like, what is the story, but um, we definitely got to figure out what was going on here. Oh, my bad. Shambles. Uh, shambles. Like, come on now. All right, let's go ahead and slow it down over here. So, yeah, I don't know exactly what the story is, but let's go ahead and check these weapons that these uh, ladies had on them. So, let's see. Hopefully the ambulance can come here and uh, help us out. There's no weapon in evidence box. All right, see, Grand Theft Auto be trying to embarrass me, but it's all good. 
It's all good. What do you mean there is no weapon? All right, you know what? Bump that, okay? So we got the ambulance here to go ahead and help that other officer that these ladies down. So um, let me let me see what's going on over here. Dispatch requesting coroner. Assistance required in Davis. All right, guys. So it seems like we already have somebody who didn't make it. Let's go ahead and check the car. Oh, they saved the cop though. That's what's up. They saved the cop. That's good. That's good. All right. So sometimes these uh, EMTs, I guess they really do be saving people in LSPDFR. Cause most often times it be, I don't know guys. It's like most of the times they can't even help them. All right, so we have a scale coated with tan powder. All right, obviously I don't know my strength. So let's go ahead and get a tow truck for this. So I'm not sure why they decided that they were gonna start, you know, bussing with the cops, but I mean, just for a scale coated? Dispatch requesting plate check. Does this, who does this car belong to? Plate for eight David oh, Sam, Sam, okay. Zero, so it was a stolen vehicle. vehicle. So that's probably why the other officers stopped them. And then they probably were, you know, intoxicated somehow. So they didn't want to, you know, get in trouble for this stolen vehicle. But I mean, they just, that was kind of a stupid, a stupid thing they did. Let me go over here. All right, CPR failed. So we're going to have to call the corner, guys. So let me go over here and see if um, anybody picked up this guy. Yeah, we have to go ahead and call the corner for this guy. This is crazy. Like, how we got a shootout on two blocks, guys? This is <laughs> this is gang unit. Dispatch requesting corner. Assistance required in uh, Rancho. All right, let's go ahead and see what's in here. A backpack with baggies and um, a gym bag with marksman pistols so they were definitely trafficking and selling over here so wow okay they were probably he was probably like their backup or something I don't know let me know what you guys think about it but this is definitely a little wild today I did not expect all this all right make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button for me and um, let me know what you think the story is, why this guy just started shooting as well. I am not sure, but yeah, are they gonna pick him up? Let me go ahead and get a tow truck for this vehicle. Um, we're definitely gonna have to see if there's any more stuff in here that we didn't, you know, that we didn't discover. All right, guys, so I'm gonna run back over to the other side because I gotta call a corner to come over here too. Um, yeah. <laughs> Dispatch, let me code four. Attention all units, code four. No additional officers needed. Dispatch requesting corner. I'll cover you! Assistance required in Davis. Yeah, so you guys also don't even mind um this like star and my map going like red and blue and stuff i don't know what's going on with that you guys know sometimes mods like act crazy and they do whatever they want to do so please just don't even you know mind that for right now uh we're gonna go ahead and clean up the scene oh yeah that's what i was gonna say before let me know if you guys like when we clean up the scene and all that if you guys like to see that happen or if you just rather that i move on let me know what you like in the comments down below are you serious bro did you just break <laughs> did you just break the window guys what is wrong with these dudes like seriously what the heck but also let me know if you like this truck today it is looking really nice i'm gonna go ahead and clean up this vehicle because that was just all of ghetto so yeah let me know if you guys like the vehicle let me know if you guys like the mood and um yeah we're gonna go ahead and leave dispatch show me responding 
Alright guys, so right now we are responding a code three, an officer needs help. It seems that um two suspects fighting weapons unknown. Okay, so it seems like two suspects are trying to fight an officer. So we gotta go ahead and get down there um immediately and help him out and uh really see what is happening. So I don't know if he tried to stop them from fighting. And then they ganged up on him. I'm not sure, but we are down here in uh, Cypress Flats tonight. So where is he? This guy, show me on scene. All right, there's one, there's one. All right, let's go ahead and get my stun gun. What the freak? No, that was a fluke. That was such a fluke. All right, so my partner got that guy. Where did the other one go? Where did they go? Did they go in this alley? I'm lost. Where did they freaking go? Okay, they're gonna come out through here. All right, what the heck? That was funny. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and help my other partner get this guy. And I guess that was the officer that they were like beating up. So let's hit that turbo right quick. And guys, I mean, this is just, <laughs> why is he running so fast? First of all, why is he running so fast? That's ridiculous, okay? That's ridiculous. I'm gonna have to hit this turbo, uh, this turbo speed a couple times to actually catch up to them. Let's see those hands right now. All right, let's go. Let's go. Sir, oh, running into traffic. Okay, the ghetto. All right, sir, get down on the ground. Sir, get down. I love how everybody else is just like literally walking by, so nonchalant, not even, not even looking at the fact that we're running after this perp. Sir, get down on the ground. Oh Let's my gosh, seriously? Right Bruh. I'm, oh my gosh. Sir, get down on the ground. There we go. Taser deployed. There we go. I was about to say, like, come on. We, I am not about to do this all freaking night. Get down on the ground, man. Get down. There we go. There we go. All right, I'm going to let my other officer go in and arrest him. All right. Okay. So I'm not really sure what they all were fighting about, but let's go ahead and figure some stuff out right quick. Dispatch, we have the suspect in custody. 10-4, copy. All right, sir. Do you have anything on you that can quickly stab me, poke me, or cause me any harm today? So we got a Johnny Williams. All right, let me go ahead and take out my flashlight. I don't really use this a whole bunch and obviously y'all could kind of see why. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's get a pet check from dispatch on a Johnny Williams. All right, so his driver's license is valid, no active warrants. Let's get a pat down. Do you have anything on you that's going to prick me, stab me, poke me, or cause me any harm today, sir? Let's see what he got on him. Um, crumpled up paper, and okay, nothing much. Guys, that's the thing about this flashlight. Like, I like how it looks, and it's super, super fancy, but I can never stand, like, appropriately with it. But <laughs> I got it now. All right, let's go ahead and question him. Uh, do you have done any drugs recently? Here we go again. What is it with you cops? No. Have you been drinking? Come on, miss. I don't have time. Can I just go? No, you were beating up a whole cop. What are you talking about? Um, let me go ahead and see his record. See what we got on this guy. So this is him right here. He's never been arrested. Um, he has a couple citations. And I guess this is the other guy that they stopped back there. So I'm not sure what the story is with them and why they decided to, uh, you know, beat up this cop. But let's go ahead and do some testing, see if there's anything that uh, we're going to be interested in. Thank you. All right, so his blood alcohol level is zero. Let's go ahead and get a drug swab. So yeah, I, I'm trying to figure out the story right now to see why exactly they were beating on that cop. Appreciate it. All right, he's negative for everything, so let's get him a transport. Assistance required in Cypress Flats. Yeah, I'm not sure what they thought they were doing, but we're just gonna get him a transport. 
All right, we're gonna go ahead and talk to this lady right here. She really is acting like she doesn't see us right over there talking with that guy. Like, look at her. What are you doing, ma'am? Ma'am, what are you doing? All right, let's go ahead and um, let's ask her some questions. What are you doing? Not much. Is that so? <laughs> Okay, let's, uh, they have some questions for this. Here we go. Um, do you have any, no, let's ask her if this is a high traffic area for how come you guys don't do anything about it? I'm about to do something right now. That's why I'm talking to you. Do you have any idea why I'm here? I'm guessing it's not because you want to be my eye candy. Okay, so I just asked her for her ID, guys, and she's telling me don't stalk me. Like, we're just gonna let her go. I'm not going to check her record or anything like that. She's just going to move along with her stink But Like, <laughs> and I have to run all the way down and back to the other guy. Um, see if the other guy has any story or what, why they're beating up on that cop. But if you guys are still watching right now, thank you so much. Go ahead and leave a truck emoji down below in the um, description box. And the first three people, description box, in the comment section, and the first three people who leave a truck emoji, I'm going to go ahead and shout you out in the next video that I film. So, and that lets me know that you guys are like literally watching the whole episode. So, um, yeah, go ahead and do that if you want to shout out, if you don't care, um, just leave a truck emoji. Or if you just don't want to, at least be subscribed, okay? But, um... <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and see what is the story with this, these, this, these? Tongue tied. I'm gonna go ahead and see what is the story with this guy down here. And most of the time, I choose to like show you guys me running back to stuff because you guys seem to really like the scenery and the look of the game. So hopefully, you guys are enjoying this. So we're pulling up on this guy right now. He's, did they really just leave him here with nothing? Who's watching this guy? All right, so he has some alcohol intoxication that we need to see about. And I'm going to wait for my buddy to get down here so that we can pat him down. But uh, yeah, once it comes up. Mm, all right, there we go. Uh, do you have anything on you that is going to prick me, stab me, poke me, or cause me any harm today, sir? Let's see what he got on him. All right, we got a Brian Pierce. Okay. Let's go ahead and get a pet check from dispatch. All right, what do we got, dispatch? All right, driver's license valid, active warrant, no. Also, let me know if you guys like when I um, when I actually incorporate the flashlight in my LSPDFR episodes, Thanks. let me know. All right, so his blood alcohol level is 0 0.104. So that is over the legal limit today. And let's pat him down. I'm pretty sure I already did but we are gonna do it again okay so let's just go ahead and pat him down and he has nothing on him that we are interested in what were you doing looking at pictures of this person okay um let's investigate why were you fighting the officer they disrespected my hood boy what you know about having any hood what and he says he's meeting an old friend here okay interesting so we're gonna go ahead and get a transport for him too and uh we just got in an accident <laughs> so he was chilling in this car in his car while this guy was just standing up on the street he could have ran oh my gosh what the freak excuse me guys move out the way so i can move this truck like oh my goodness anyway we got that situation handled Dispatch, show me code 4. Attention all units, code 4, no additional support needed. Alright guys, so I almost forgot to uh, check the charges. So honestly, we only gave one guy uh, some charges. I forgot to give the other guys charges, so yeah so we arrested him for um you know assault and stuff and he was actually given one year and seven months in prison i thought he was gonna do way more time way more time than that he didn't get any time for the firearms not being registered like who does that who does that 
but guys i i don't know why i forgot to charge the other guys um i i just don't know i don't have any excuse but make sure to go ahead and like this episode subscribe share all of that good stuff and i will definitely catch you guys in the next episode thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing and like i just said i'll see you in the next episode